New tonight, a Wake County pond is closed until further notice after a sewer line leak. The leak at Joyner Park Pond in Wake Forest has led to red algae, which can make you or your pet sick. WRL's Carly Haynes is joining us there live now. Carly, do we know when this will all be resolved? Well, it could be weeks or longer. The city of Raleigh does handle Wake Forest sewers, and they actually are here right now. I was just speaking with a manager on site who said that grease is what blocked the sewage line and caused this leak. Now they're trying to get rid of that block and pump out all of that contaminated water. A walk past the pond at Joyner Park, and you'll see the problem. Uh, green, 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 and green. Lisa Ward, Joan Maynard, and their dogs come here every day. Normally, if we go out there and we feed like the turtles and the catfish and stuff will all come, but there was like no sign of life. Yeah. That's because of a harmful algae bloom in this water caused by a sewage leak. It's really hard to tell the full extent of it until we address that problem. Exposure to algae blooms could make humans sick. It could kill animals and wildlife, and it could release harmful toxins and gases. On, we're going to see what we can do to treat the water. Um, it may include algae sides, uh, getting it, uh, getting bubblers, getting some oxygen back in this water. But moms like Kaya Cornegue ask, what about the sewage? Where is this going to go? Where does it flow to? You know, how is that going to affect? I know I've seen other families come out here to fish. You know, is that going to be something that they can continue doing? Crews were brought in to cap the leak, plugging a valve to prevent any more contaminated water from flowing downstream. They also closed off the pond and the nearby greenway, a serious problem that Wake Forest says could take weeks to resolve. Oh, and hopefully it's fixed soon. Hopefully the smell is taken care of <laughs> quickly. They said this is caused from people putting grease down their sinks. But when this is all said and done, Raleigh Water said this could cost about $50,000. The good news is there's no impact to your drinking water or your showers. Carly Haynes, WRL News, live in Wake Forest.